Hi, this is Scott Fresner, developer of TSEPs and Fast Films. I'd like to talk to you about a couple new routines I put into version 2.0 of TSEPs. These routines are designed for Discharge Inc. Now, Discharge Inc. has been around for a long time, but it's very popular right now on uh, medium colored and dark colored shirts. Discharge Inc. is special screen print ink that removes the dye from the shirt and leaves the shirt color showing through. And you can print Discharge as a white discharge that when it discharges out the color in the shirt, the shirt actually is a natural color. Or you can print print colored discharge ink and when you remove the dye in the shirt it replaces it with that color. Now these separations are different than normal simulated process or index color separations. With discharging the underbase is much different and you don't print really color on color. Let's click run discharge five color plus one white because you only print one white with discharge. There's no highlight white. And this is not plastisol. This is typically a water-based ink that requires special separations. We'll click run discharge five color plus one white and it tells you uh, quite a bit about the routine if you're new to discharge ink it explains pretty much why we do it this way so read these prompt menus these help menus and of course as with everything else in TSEPs it says to load the masked version first that'd be the version with black around the image in the canvas area and it says load the unmasked or the normal version with white in the canvas area second now the routine cooks these separations are very specific for water-based discharge ink where the underbase is not really an underbase but it's white where you need white and it's color where you need color and there's no real overlap of colors. Now here's our image. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and here's our separations in the channels. Now there's what's called the discharge white and if you're familiar with with the normal simulated process color, there would normally be more white ink below the colors. But because each color in discharge works on its own and be, makes it very opaque on the shirt, you don't need to put white underneath reds and blues and yellow discharge ink. This routine is designed if you're going to print all colors with discharge ink. Some people print with a discharge for the first color down, then print plastisol on top of that. This routine is designed for all colors or discharge. There's the yellow, the red blue, light blue, black. Again, no highlight white. Now, we have told the program to display the white ink in the shirt color because discharging actually does not give you white. If you print white discharge ink on a black shirt, you actually get the shirt color, which was never white to begin with. This is a natural colored shirt because they don't bleach dark shirts that they dye dark. So we've assigned more of a cream color to this so it'll appear the way it's going to print on the shirt. And here's the colors. And that's how easy it is to run the discharge routine in TSEPs. Now I've got this routine for both simulated process color where it's half tones, and I have the same basic routine for index color where it's small square dots.